starting to get some heat through the passenger side, through the driver side in there, which I've not had at all. And um, it's been freezing cold, whereas the, um, the passenger side's been falling off. So what I'm going to do is keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to keep this on here, and I'm going to keep pressing on them holes down the back there, on the driver side holes, and at the heater bolt just down there to try and get the hot water to flow through the matrix and either remove the airlock or any debris that's stuck in there just by giving them a good squeeze over and over again trying to bump, bump it through give it a bit more pressure um, so I'll just keep doing that and we'll see how we go okay so that's worked for me pot all 93 is one tape the top of it's quite a, a decent size hole on there closest one I could find to the top of that gaffer taped it up to give a good seal pushed it in and then once it was in and I filled it with water I squeezed every hole squeezing all of them um, just trying to um, get the air out of them and the two heater ones just down there give them a good squeezing just over and over and over again and while I was squeezing squeezing it and pumping it I felt it go hot so whatever was in there the air or whatever had pushed through and come out into the into the container there but good 10 minutes i've been squeezing all the pipes everywhere and i've been giving them a good squeeze not not just not just i've been proper pumping on all of them i've got lpg as well so i've been doing all these ones through the lpg uh just trying to get it get it to um get the airlock out and it's worked so now i've got hot on drivers and passengers so before we start replacing stuff just make sure you check that it's not an airlock please subscribe if you want more car videos this is the l322 4.4 v8